Hey, Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Down here today at my daughter's house, Valerie. She's been working with us for about uh, three years now. And you know, interestingly enough, she's got to see a lot of the, the cool new technologies that we get to work on every day. So, you know, we were working on the Bosch communicating system and the uh, Goodman cool cloud system. And they got some really, really cool products. And we were talking about those the other day along with uh, Sensi Predict. And, you know, she really liked the fact that um, you got all the uh, information from those systems about how they're operating and filter notifications and all that stuff. And we were just chatting about it. She's like asked if her equipment had any of that stuff. And, and well, the simple answer is no. We put this in five years ago and it's not, you know, baseline. It's still a 95% efficient furnace, but it, it's definitely not a communicating system. And then after thinking about it for a little while, it's like, well, why don't we just throw Sensi Predict on and a nice Sensi stat and that'll give you all those features you're looking for as far as, you know, peace of mind, the system's running well and, and, uh, obviously the advantage of like the geofencing with the thermostat so it can automatically turn stuff up or down and just the filter reminders because well, you know right now I'm her filter reminder and she comes in I'll ask her if she changed her filter and you know it's an inconvenience for me so we really thought this would be cool if we could uh, get this hooked up for her and so we're going to go through I thought we would just videotape the Sensi installation just so you guys can see how it's done and quite honestly if you can install a wireless thermostat you can install Sensi Predict it's literally not much harder than that there's one little tricky thing you got to watch, and that's a com wire between the uh, indoor unit and the outdoor condenser. And I'll show you that. And but otherwise, it's really just plug and play, and we'll get this thing rolling. So I've got down here. Uh, I've got a Sensi Predict thermostat. That's the touchscreen model we're going to put in, and then I've got the Sensi Predict itself. This comes. Uh, it's a pretty nice little package because they've, they've got obviously the directions are right on the top. Uh, you can use an accessory router, which we're not going to use. We're just going to hook right to her, her existing Wi-Fi. And then it's got, you know, directions are on top, but then it's got uh, your indoor tray. So this is everything you need for the indoor system. And this is your outdoor tray, which is everything you need for outside. So everything is broken down real nicely. The other thing that they did here that I really like about Sensi Predict is they have everything you're going to need right down to zip ties uh, to get this thing installed and get a nice, clean, neat installation. So. We're going to go ahead and get set up to do this. I'll walk you through the steps, uh, how we're going to put the system in, but it's uh, really, really straightforward. It'll take us about an hour uh, to get this all hooked in. This includes the video time, but it'll give you a nice idea of what Sensi Predict is and the Sensi Thermostat is and, you know, the benefits that you can get from, in, from using those, especially with MeasureQuick. All right, so one of the first things you want to do when you're, when you're installing a Sensi Predict is just a little bit of, of pre-planning because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be routing some wires for a the thermostat. We're going to be routing some wires for some temperature sensors to get a supplier and a return air sensor. And also this thing's got to be able to pick up Wi-Fi. So, you know, just looking here real quick at where I want to install it, because I already got power and stuff over here, I'm probably going to mount the predict uh, right here on the unit. And that'll give me an easy pathway up here to the supply. And then I can run right over here and pick up my return duct and route my wires uh, really easily on all those pieces. Now, before you do that, what you want to do is you want to use a utility to pick up your Wi-Fi signal. And all I'm going to do is just push start here. And this is just showing me uh, if I have a really good signal, which it's all the way into green, which is telling me that I've got a really good internet connection here uh, off of our Wi-Fi router. So we're going to go ahead. This is a good spot to install it and uh, everything's going to work fine. So let me go ahead and the, the next step, I always want to just point this out here. And if you always get in the habit of this, uh, even though we have it in the MeasureQuick app, before you go mounting stuff, you will need the Sensi ID number. So I always just grab a quick photo of that on the back here, just so I have it, because when I go to pair this up to the router, I'm going to need that number. And uh, if you don't do it, you're going to screw this to the, to the ductwork, even though you don't have to screw it. Everything's magnetic. So literally, you can just pop this thing up here. But sometimes I put a screw or two in there, and then I end up having to take the screw out afterwards. So just a good piece of advice getting started on this. All right, so go ahead and make sure you always kill the power to the unit. So I'm just going to shut her, her main power switch off here. Uh, Heil's got these nice little latches here. We'll pop the door off here. Indoor, we're going to have to mount a, an indoor transformer. So I'll pop this out of my cardboard here. And it's got some wires and connections here. And then we have a CT that's going to go around the main power coming into the appliance. So if you, if you just track your wires here, which I'm going to just pop this door off too, just so I can see everything real quick here. Um, down here on the door switch, 
if I reach around behind here, this is where I'm going to grab my main power at because this it literally goes right into the door switch. So that's a great place to grab your your main power for your furnace so you can measure what's coming on in the CT. So I'll just pop this guy open here. I'll clip it around here and we'll snap it shut. And then I want to find a spot that I can connect this transformer on here. And again, this is all um, got magnet mounts on there so you can just and literally come in. I'm going to come in the side here and tie it into the side of the uh, side of the furnace here, just so I got a spot for it. Okay, so that gives all my indoor uh, mounting pieces, and then I can just go ahead and we'll start wiring stuff up with the harness. All right, so since he does include a very detailed wiring diagram, it's a nice pictorial diagram. Just makes it easy to do. So you can see right here is where I connected that CT or on my door safety switch. This harness here is the one that goes up to the Sensi Predict. It's where I'm going to pick up my power at. It's where I get the power for the transformer and things like that here. So you can see, you know, each one of these different connections and how they connect on to that cable. So here's the cable that, that comes off the transformer. The transformer is powered then off my, uh, off my power supply off the board. And then I've got another one coming down here to my door safety switch. And then the rest of these wires here are all my thermostat. So the, the best way of routing this is through a, through a connection here. When I, when I did hers, I actually uh, sealed all this stuff off so we don't have air leaks. There's plenty of space in this, so I'll just open that up a little bit. I'll feed the wires through and we'll get the cables routed. So you'll see when you're wiring this thing up here, a couple things. Leave this bag on the tips of the wires when you go to push it through the hole here. So, you know, down here I have the hole I put it through, so this just keeps the wires from getting snagged as you're pushing through. Then all your plugs on this, they're all polarized, so you can't really mess up putting any plugs together here. And then I'll grab this other wiring harness that goes on the other end of the transformer. And these transformers are pretty cool. They, they not only power the Sensi Predict, but they also uh, measure the power coming in so we can make sure that uh, uh, we're getting voltage readings and things like that off the Sensi. So we're going to go ahead and fin get this wrapped up here, but I just wanted to show you that real quick. When you go to connect the, the transformer for the furnace, it, it, it depends on whether you're dealing with an air handle, whether it's 240 volt or a furnace, it's 120. So there's two harnesses here. I'm gonna use the, the 120 volt harness. This will plug in and then what I've got uh, is just a piggyback connector. So I can just tie this on the incoming power on the circuit board and this will power the transformer. All right, so this is the trickiest part of the whole Sensi Predict, literally. So you can see right here, I have my thermostat wires. These are the two that are going to my condensing unit. So this is coming off common right here and then going to uh, the Y terminal. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna disconnect the red wire here. And this red wire is gonna become my communications wire for the Sensi Predict. So what they do is because, you know, it's hard to get wireless outside at your house, they actually have two yellow wires here and you just gotta pay close attention to, to which one is which. So this one is got a, a black tracer on it and it's also got a tag on here that says YPLC. So this is your, your communications wire and then you have your regular Y wire that's gonna mount right back to that terminal. So these two are gonna get wire nutted together. The one with the black trace is gonna get wire nutted to the red wire, the yellow going to the wire underneath the thermostat. And so what they're doing with these wires here is these are just all the thermostat calls. So I'll go ahead and get this wired up and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. All right, so you can see I've got all my thermostat wires hooked up now and my uh, wires from my hub attached. You don't want to take off any of the extra wire on this hub here. So what I did is I just rolled these wires back and taped them off, uh, and cut the, the wire ends off. You can see here I've got my CT tied into my main power wire. I've got my transformer just magnetically mounted back here. What I did on the transformer, let me get around my light here, is I just tied in off the transformer itself. So this is the, the system transformer and I powered off the circuit board and these have piggyback terminals so they're easily connected on here. So everything down the bottom half of the furnace is done. Now I just got to finish wiring up the sensors for the hub. All right, so the Sensi Predict comes with four sensors on here. You've got a black one, a black wired one, which is going to go into your supplier a gray that's going to go into your return air, and then it's got two uh, temperature sensors. Let me get to the temperature ends on these. And these are just their misters, and you've got one for your liquid line and one for your suction line. So I'm going to go ahead and get these hooked up and, and routed. And when you're mounting these sensors, one of the things you want to really watch, and it's probably going to get hard on the light up here to see this, but we want to be out, out of line of sight of the coil here. So we want to be up in the airstream and find a spot where we get nice uh, mixed air temps. So I'm going to probably try and mount the sensors 
you know, the supplier sensor up here and I can hit the return air sensor on the side of the ductwork here. So I got a nice uh, route for that. Then my evaporator coil is, is backwards here compared to the furnace. So I'm gonna route those around behind and tie them into the suction line and the liquid line. Since he really thought of everything when you're, when you're doing this, even have a uh, tape stickers here. So these are really easy to mount. I usually also tie them in with a, a zip screw behind it, but you know, these just go up to the hole you just drilled and it's gonna seal that hole off. And then we can you know, push them up and route our cable. So these are not, not hard at all to put in, just drill a little hole and we'll get that mounted and we're good to go. So there is a small piece here for the, for the uh, liquid line sensor and this just slides into the block here. And then what I like to do is just zip the, put the zip tie up and through this. And I usually put these just face up so that they, the wire, you know, it's, it's locked in here. It's not going to fall down. I'm just going to route it around behind here where I want it. Then I'm going to clip it to the liquid line here and just zip tie this snug. All right, so we got the, the liquid line sensor and the suction line sensor attached. The suction line sensor just goes up underneath the Armaflex and then it gets wire tied down so it's snug on there. Some of these Armaflex, you notice down here, she was getting some uh, water stainage from condensate dripping down uh, onto the coil. And what happens here is this is Armaflex is a little bit loose on the copper here. So what we ended up doing was we zip tied it down here to seal it off tight. So this is actually just closing up the Armaflex same thing up high up here we did. So I've got a wire tie up here to sort of seal that off and then another one on the, on the black arm reflex and that'll stop that condensation from, from dripping down. So while you're doing Sensi Predict, you wanna keep an eye on these types of things and make sure that everything's going the way that you want it to go. In the Sensi Predict, it's a great time to do the Sensi thermostat. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull this off, this beautiful Lux Pro thermostat that was obviously professionally installed before. So we're gonna see what we can do to get this covered as much as we can, but uh, we'll get that on next. There we go. All right, so outside kit here, it just contains, a, again, a transformer. This is a 240 volt that we're gonna tie in for the air conditioner, a CT, and then there's the, uh, the communication set here for the um, optical unit. So we'll go ahead and get this set up and we'll be good to go. First thing I wanna do is just pull your power because obviously you don't wanna work on stuff that's hot. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this installed. All right, so the real important thing to remember when you're wiring in the outdoor section is this red wire that we had inside that we disconnected that was connected to the black trace. We want to connect to the black trace out here. And then this other wire will just connect to the system. So this way, this wire acts as a comm wire from inside to outside. Then you can see here I've got my um, outdoor transmitter hooked up and I've got my transformer hooked up. You want to make sure that you always connect the transformer uh, to the incoming power. You don't want to be on this side of the contactor, otherwise it won't have power all the time and it won't work. So pretty simple indoor out, uh, outdoor installation. Took all of about probably three minutes. All right, so on the homeowner's router to get this paired in, there's a, a pairing button here, WPS. Just press that button for a second. It's going to flash showing you that it's in a, a mode for pairing. So we got that in a pairing mode. We'll go downstairs and get the predict in pairing mode. All right, so we've pressed the WPS button upstairs. We're gonna go ahead and press the pair button here. And you'll notice that it's, in, it's ready when we got the, the green and the red light solid and the yellow lights blinks. All right, so now we're just gonna enter some information about the equipment. So indoor makes and models, BTU inputs, installation dates, filter information, and we're just gonna go ahead and hit save and continue. All right, so we've got everything installed. And the Sensi Predict has been up and running and so is the system for a few seconds. So we've got a connectivity pass here. We've got a heating pass here. It's got a cooling unknown because we haven't run it through a cooling cycle yet and our filter life's 100%. At this point here, we can start a project with MeasureQuick and we'll just hit open and that will allow us to live stream in the data. So we'll just log in our portal here and we could go ahead and commission the system up with MeasureQuick and that'll be the next step. But otherwise, the Sensi Predict is all set. So now we just go through the standard system commissioning, make sure the cooling's running right, make sure the heating's running right, store the data in the MeasureQuick cloud, and we're good to go.